Hey guys, a very good morning. Welcome back to my channel, The Learning Essentials. I am your host, Avinash. Today, I am going to conduct the sessions how we can integrate the AWS CloudWatch with the Grafana. Guys, as we know that CloudWatch gives us facility to monitor AWS resources, so we can keep track health checks of all the AWS resources. And in this sessions, I am going to show you that how we can integrate CloudWatch with the Grafana for better visualizations, for better matrix visualizations. Guys, one more request: If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Okay, guys. So now let's move towards the practical sessions. And firstly, I need one of the user. Why user? Because basically, I need the access key ID and secret key ID in order to configure the CloudWatch inside the Grafana. So I'm going to create one of the user called Grafana. and i am going to enable the programmatic access so i will have access key id and secret key id guys i am going to attach one of the policy which is already customized it means that i have specifically designed this policies this one amazon grafana cloudwatch policy i will explain this policy later so let me first create this user let me talk about this amazon grafana cloudwatch policy so guys this is the policy specifically has been designed for the grafana itself and which is being provided by the AWS Amazon you can simply go on the google and search the grafana policy on AWS cloud and you will you will be landed or something in this kind of page anyway i am going to give this link inside the description sections and you can take it from there okay so by using this i have already created one of the policy and i have given the name AWS Amazon Grafana CloudWatch policy 1 2 3 4 5 and these are the resources which i have apply, applied and accordingly i have given the permissions the same policy i have attached to this particular user uh, let me show you this one the grafana basically i need this so let me take this id first access key id and then i am going to copy the secret key id as well so This, the part of AWS we are done now. Now it's time to configure the CloudWatch under the Grafana, and I'm moving towards it. Let's see how it can. Hey guys, now so I am starting the Grafana part, and let me log in in my Grafana server. So this is my Grafana server. So first we need to go under the data source, okay, and we need to say add data source. so here if we go directly on the cloud watch okay and here authentic here you need to see that one more thing like guys here there is a options called data source so in data source what it is saying that it is only taking data source as a x ray data source so basically in aws x ray is a service which also gives us facility to trace all the logs of the distributed systems okay so we need to configure this otherwise if we don't have x ray we cannot configure the cloud watch okay as a data source so firstly we need to create the x ray okay and uh, if you go in data source right if that x ray options is not available so as of now if i check here so this x ray option is available but if it is not available you can simply go to the plugins and you can install the x ray plugins from here okay x ray plugin from here since i have already installed so it is not showing there so in my case it is already installed i am going to add it first this one and we need to select it one more thing guys before uh, configuring it we need to assign one more permissions to this particular user grafana okay so let me go there let me select this user and here i need to add one more permissions and i am going to add the aws x ray full access add permissions now let's 
two permission is there. One, the customized policy which I have created. The second, AWS Accelerate Full Access. Okay, so here I need to select the mode AWS Access and Secret Key. And Access and Secret Key I do have already. So let me paste it here. Then second, the Secret Key. Then after that, we need to choose Choose the reason. So basically, my resources are under AWS Southeast One, right? So this is there. My resources are landing and currently running. So after that, I need to say save and test connections. Okay. So now you can see that data source updated. Data source is working. Now it's time to configure the CloudWatch. So now in the same way, we need to configure another data source, and this time we need to add the CloudWatch. So we have to search here the CloudWatch. And then the same access key and secret key we are going to give it. So access key is this one, and then we need to give the secret key. Then after that we can choose the reason, and then here the data source. It now it will prompt because we have already configured it, right? And we can say save and test. So now you can see data source updated and it is testing. Now we can simply configure the dashboard. Okay. So now you can see also the messages. The test is successfully happened. Now data source is working. So now we need to add the one of the best dashboard. And I have already find one of the best dashboard. Let me show you. And this looks pretty much good. So I'm going to use this in order to create the dashboard, right? So you need to create here the plus sign and you need to say import. Here you need to give the ID load and here change UID and ID is 617 if I'm not wrong. So let me show you. Yeah, 617. Let me give it something new because it is saying that the dashboard is already available. 617 import override. That's okay. No worries because I have already previously created it. So now you can see that I have started getting all the metrics of my resources which is currently running under my AWS cloud. So here you can see that the instance ID currently there is two instance and let me show you my instance. Let me refresh it reload so you can see that there is two instance one is running one is a stop and this instance is 95a right this is the same instance we are getting here so this is the instance which is stopped right so you can see that there is no matrix we are getting there is and if we select this is we started getting the matrix. So now you can see that it is saying currently the CPU utilization average and there are other matrix as well. You can play all the options one by one. You can go ahead and check all the options one by one. So guys, this is the exact the correct way that you can integrate your CloudWatch with your own Grafana. And the process is little bit little bit different when you uh, try to install the Grafana, the AWS Grafana, the, uh, the Grafana services which is being provided by the AWS. The process is same, only you need to configure the SSO for the login, that's all. Otherwise, the process is same. But since this is my own uh, uh, Grafana server which is running on one of the VMs and I have configured the CloudWatch under it, so this is the correct procedure. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this sessions and your concept is quite clear now. So just go ahead, play with it. Try to configure the CloudWatch under the Grafana. And if you face any error, just write me in the comment sections. One more request, guys. I'm done for the day. And one more request, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and the colleague. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good